a portable date rape drug detector, acetaminophen for back pain is bullshit, and sugar will officially kill you. I'm going to sneak into your house at night and cobble all your current events footwear while you sleep. News shoes. First up, a personal device that lets you identify exactly what you're drinking. What's it called? The PDID, or Personal Drink Identification Device. Yes indeed, the gadget is able to detect common drugs including alcohol, Zolpidem, which is Ambien, Rohypnol, and other benzodiazepines, not sure I'm pronouncing that right, many of which can go unnoticed in water and juice, let alone cocktails. It looks like an iPod, and users simply dip the battery-powered PDID into their drink and wait for a few seconds. If the drink is safe, an LED light flashes green. If it's been spiked, the light goes red. The gadget goes for 75 bucks and can be reused nearly 40 times before the battery needs to be recharged. It's pretty cool. It's not the first device of its kind. There's a nail polish that changes color in a tampered drink, and there are color-changing cups and straws out there. One in four women will be victims of sexual assault in their lifetime, so I think it's a pretty great initiative. I also think that it's f***ed up that this has to exist. Because rapists. But I actually hope they design one that can detect kitchen staff spit in a burger, fart in a smoothie, or hobo urine on a doorknob. We all worry about that stuff, right? Right, Chris? He's not there? Where is he? In the kitchen farting on my sandwich. Yep, good. By the way, the PDID is Canadian. We also invented the prosthetic hand, peanut butter, and hovercrafts. You're welcome. Next up, acetaminophen for back pain is bullshit. A recent study proved that taking acetaminophen, commonly found in products like Tylenol, for back pain is about as useful as taking nothing. It's like taking nothing. The study, which lasted three months and included about 1,600 people, took into consideration recovery time, pain, and quality of life. And it ultimately proved that relief in people taking the drug and those on a placebo were completely indiscernible. Doctors have been prescribing acetaminophen for back pain for years, proving that they sometimes still kind of know nothing about health stuff and stuff. One smart way to manage back issues is to stay hydrated, or just mix up a little gin and morphine combo and go to sleepy town like my Uncle Ricky used to do. I'm kidding, don't do that. Unless you want to taste bliss. It's a joke, guys, don't mess with drugs, seriously. But it's fun. No, don't do it. Stay safe, seriously. Get lit. Nope, just say no. Take drugs. I'm kidding. Do not take drugs. Gin and morphine will kill you. In all seriousness, just don't ask a doctor. When asked to comment, most doctors said, meh, and then they went for a drive in their awesome cars on vacation somewhere warm and nice. Last up, sadly, the low-carb nutters are right. Sugar will f***ing kill you. Eliminating sugar from your diet won't just help you trim down, it could help keep you from getting colon cancer. North American carb-rich diets have long been linked to high levels of cancer, and scientists have now confirmed that link in the gut bacteria of mice. The gist is this. Healthy gut bacteria helps keep cancer at bay. But in controlled studies involving mice with no gut bacteria who consumed less sugar, cancerous tumors grew far slower. Cool beans, because cancer f***ing sucks. It's terrible news, however, for growers of anything carb-related like corn, wheat, potatoes, and sugar. How are these folks going to stay alive in a carb-fearing world? It's also terrible news for people with tongues and or taste buds. On a personal note, f*** you, science. Stop ruining awesome stuff with math and knowing things. This is exactly why Mad Men is so fun to watch. Because of the ignorance. Smoking, drinking booze, philandering, drinking soda pop, eating steak and ice cream sandwiches as big as the day is long, dressing like a champ. I mean, those are better days. Minus all the bigotry, pollution, and wife beating, of course. But still. Okay, guys, that's it for the dispatch. Share your comments with us below, and share this video a whole bunch of times with a whole bunch of people. I'm Mark, and get yourself a good walking stick. I mean, people will jump to conclusions and assume that you're crazy, infirm, or just a regular old wizard. But that's okay, because you and I will know that you're all of them.